Barcelona, the second largest city in Spain, attracts countless visitors year after year who come to enjoy her many charms. Famous for her exceptional modernist architecture and well-preserved Gothic center, Barcelona is a cultural center, home to a wide variety of museums that range from contemporary art, archaeology, and science museums to the more uncommon ones, such as the museums of shoes or chocolate. The Anela Olimpica, Olympic Ring in Catalan, is an Olympic park located in the hill of Munjuic, which was one of the main competition sites used during the 1992 Olympic Games. In this area, Connected by plazas and staircases, we can find the main sports facilities. The Olympic Stadium, Estadio Olympic, which houses the Galleria Olimpica, a permanent exhibition and information center about Barcelona's Olympics and its sports facilities. Other sports facilities are the Bernat Picornel Olympic swimming pools, where the swimming and water polo competitions were held, as well as the Palau San Jordi Arena, which hosts a mixture of sporting events and can seat up to 17,000 spectators. In the heart of Bari Gothic, the Gothic Quarter, you can find Barcelona's Cathedral, one of the most marvelous examples of medieval architecture in Europe. The commonly used name of the cathedral, La Seo, refers to the status of the church as the seat of the archbishop. The cornerstone of the church was laid in the 13th century, but it took until the beginning of the 20th century for the cathedral to be completed. The structure is 90 meters long and 40 meters wide, but its size is not the main reason for the building's magnificent style. The octagonal clock tower was built between 1386 and 1393 and reaches a height of over 50 meters and is just one example of the architect's outstanding vision. Near the cathedral is a 14th century cloister there are always 13 geese in its central courtyard. Each one represents one year in the life of the martyr Santa Ulaila, a young girl who was tortured to death in the 4th century by the Romans for her religion. The cloister also contains a small museum with linguist artifacts. Only 14 kilometers separate Barcelona's airport from the city center. Getting to the city from the airport can be done by using a rental car, taxi, bus and train services. Barcelona has a typical Mediterranean climate. The winter is relatively humid but mild and the summer is dry and warm. Temperatures peak between mid-July to mid-August and the rainy seasons are between autumn and spring.
If you are a football fan, then you must visit the FC Barcelona Museum. The museum is split into three sections. The first section displays a collection dedicated to Barca's past in terms of photographs, audiovisual material and athletic items. The interactive glass wall, equipped with laser technology, allows the exhibition of video, images and music through user feedback. You can enjoy magical moments from the history of the club and feel all its emotions and thrills, like for example, listening to the Barca anthem. Another section is dedicated to the contributions made by a variety of Catalonian artists such as Dali, Miró, Tapies and Subirax. The last section is the football art collection. It exhibits memorabilia, including a trophy room with every single trophy, the original or a duplication, that the club has won over the course of its history. Barcelona Football Club has become the symbol of Catalan culture. It is the second richest football club in the world in terms of revenue. The museum occupies 3,500 square meters and attracts over 1 million visitors a year, which makes it the second most visited museum in Barcelona after the Picasso Museum. The museum is located next to the Camp Nou Stadium, and visitors can choose between visiting solely the exhibitions or joining a guided tour of the stadium as well. The Camp Nou Stadium is the home base of Barcelona Football Club since it was constructed in 1957. In the ultra-fashionable neighborhoods along Passage de Gracia stands one of the most extraordinary examples of Barcelona's architecture, Casa Mila, also known as La Pedrera. It is constructed solely from natural stones. One of the most interesting places in the whole complex is the rooftop. It's a delightful series of gardens, set among surrealistic chimneys which seem like sculptures. The name Casa Mila is drawn from the patron who commissioned the well-known architect Antonio Gaudi to construct what became an apartment complex and the largest civil building designed by him. Gaudi's creation is a flowing series of curves that undulate. The balconies are full of sea-like shapes and the structures they support organically integrate similar themes. It is rare to find a single straight line in the site.
One of the apartments on the top floor has been furnished with furniture and items from the period and provides a glimpse into what the residents may have owned. The other units are still private residencies. The building was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO and it is now a museum open to the public for viewing and Barcelona rejoices life 24 hours a day and boasts centuries of history through its incredible Romanesque, Gothic and Renaissance monuments. This city is a 2,000-year-old, continuously innovating masterpiece. <laughs>